Hi, welcome back to Pia Tech Talk. In this short episode, I thought that we should uh, take a look on how to import a plugin, a software package into the Cube IDE. Sometimes, for instance, when you want to use ThreadX, it might be that the ThreadX is not available for you, like I show in, in this clip that I, I did prior. To look into the ThreadX. But what do you do if you don't have ThreadX there? Well, it might be that ThreadX is not supported. And it could also be that ThreadX is supported, but not downloaded and installed in your specific Cube IDE. And that is what this video is all about. So tag along. So here I have started a project with the STM32G491. Uh, this is the device that we can see here and the nuclear board. And if I then go into the middleware and software packs here and expand and want to add uh, ThreadX, we can see that there is free autos, but there is nothing uh, with ThreadX. So what do we do then? Well, we do like this. We go under software packs. And then we can have, first of all, the select software packs. Then we can see that the 2.0 is something that we can install. We can also go under, if we close this one, uh, go under manage software packs. Here is all the package that you can download. And if you then open the folder for the G4, for the uh, Xcube RTOS G4, we can see that there are actually two versions, the version of the 1.0 and the 2.0. And that is the 25 megabytes uh, download. So we can download it from here. Uh, and we can download much other stuff as well here. So um, take a look on that one. It's really interesting. But you can do like this. So we select software components and we see that this one is not downloaded so we can download it so we hit install now it asks us for a license agreement we agree to that one okay so now when the package is downloaded to uh, your computer you need to select what part of the uh, artos software stack you would like to use and you have several to choose from this is uh, autos the operating system itself then you have the file x which is the file system you have level x also interfaces usb x networks and interfaces and to have the bare minimal you need to go into three artex uh, autops and you then need to then hit the core that is the minimum that you need to have so when we then have installed the package we go back to the middleware and software and see that, ah, yeah, great. Now we have the ThreadX there. So we select that one and we can select the ThreadX there easily. From this point on, you can follow the other video that I did when how to get installed or started with the ThreadX. So this was the short video on how to install a software package. And in this case, it was the ThreadX that we looked into. Hope that you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider to do so. It's highly appreciated. And uh, if you have anything to tell me, uh, give me a comment in the section below. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye.